I don't know if you've noticed this, but I have. The festivals are very hostile to actual folk culture and to to actual Southerners and stuff. They don't really they don't really want us around at the big festivals. So if you go to some place like Clifftop or Merle Fest or Mount Airy and you actually are playing real folk music, real traditional music, you're going to be out of place because they at those festivals, they don't play traditional music, not really. They play festival music. Um, and most of those festivals really can trace their roots back to New York City, 1960s. It's, it's not a real folk tradition. So, I mean, I could go on and on, harp on about this for a long time, but you won't find a whole lot of, of actual folk culture left. Um, it's mostly been co-opted and commercialized by the festivals and the recording industry. And that's been going on since the early 1900s. Um, there's not a whole lot. I mean, that's, and that gets back to why I started doing this YouTube channel. That's why I set up the Patreon. It's hard if, if you haven't been in contact with a real old timer, somebody like George Gibson or Lee Sexton, somebody who's just come, you know, salt of the earth, who's got it in their veins. It's difficult to get like the essence of the music. But yeah, the essence of the music is not to be found in the jam circle. You're never going to find it. Um, at a banjo contest, at a festival, for example, or in a jam circle. You're just not going to find it there, not very likely. You can find it at the festivals, but you've got to go and find somebody one-on-one -on -one who knows what they're doing. You're not going to find it in the jam circle. You're not going to find it at the contest lineup. Um, just go to uh, Clifftop and listen to a jam. And then when you're done listening to them play a, listen to them play um, uh, Big Eyed Rabbit or whatever the hell, Cumberland Gap or something, and then go back to your truck, put on your ear, earphones and listen to Tommy Gerald play Big Eyed Rabbit or listen to Tommy Gerald or Fred Cockrum or Kyle Creed play Cumberland Gap. There's no comparison. What, what they're doing, my gripe is not that I don't like it. I mean, it's perfectly good music. There's lots of good musicians who go to the festivals and who compete in the competitions and who have record deals and all this other stuff. There's lots of good musicians, but it's just, it's all technical. There's no comparison between them and the original music that they claim to be recreating. They're, they're not. Um, I don't know. I just don't know how to, I don't know how to put it into, they don't play like those guys. And the reason they don't is because Tommy Jarrell didn't learn from tablature. Tommy Jarrell learned from his eyes and his ears and just growing up in, in the tradition and just immersing himself in the music. All these people who try to mimic Tommy Jarrell and mostly what they, what most of the music you're hearing at the festivals, Merrick, they're really mimicking um, uh, Kyle Creed, the banjo players anyhow. And uh, it's just anytime you try to mimic somebody who's a master like that, you're going to fall short. It's just like listen to all these bluegrass banjo players who, who, uh, who claim to play Scruggs style banjo. I can listen to any number of them. And just by listening to them without looking, I know that none of them are Earl Scruggs because they don't sound anything like him. Uh, it just falls flat. I don't like it. I think it's a waste of time and it ignores the, the tradition. Tommy Gerald never tried to sound like anybody else. Tommy Gerald never, like I said, he never opened a book of tablature. Kyle Creed never tried to sound like anybody else. Um, you'd be scorned if you tried to sound like anybody else. The music is about coming up with your own um, unique approach. It's not about mimicking other people. That's nonsense. It's 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 anachronistic. It's uh, an, it's uh, anathema. It's it's not traditional. It's um, I'm not saying the music is bad. I'm just saying that it's not traditional, and it's not what I'm interested in. Uh, it just goes against everything that I was ever taught uh, about the music. Like when I learned from people like George Gibson and Ernie Williams, they never especially George, um, George, you know, viciously drove it home that you're not to ever try to copy somebody else. This is your music. 
you play it your way. You don't try to copy me or anybody else. So, I mean, that's that's my gripe. One of my many gripes with the festival scene. The other gripe is that most of them are a bunch of assholes. 